on Islam. If we look at Islamic countries in the world today, we've all noticed in different ways, uh, this is a generalization, but it seems to me a true generalization, their ability to be stable democracies seems problematic, at least yes. right now. And I'm not just talking about the Middle East. If right. you look at places like Bangladesh, Malaysia, other parts, they're somewhat democratic, but they don't seem to mature into quote unquote normal democracies the way say South Korea and Taiwan have. And of course, much of the Middle East, they're not close to being democracies. And why at the, the deepest level you could explain as a matter of intellect, theology, metaphysics, has the doctrine of the religion ended up correlated with this result? If I were wise, I would say that I'm not, I'm neither an expert in Islam nor in politics, and therefore I would beg off this question, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, because I think that there it is incumbent, it is an intellectual necessity of the time, since I think there is no question that jihadist Islam is right now as great a threat. I don't want to oh, say sure, the but greatest. but not the extreme. I'm right. talking about But I'm the... just saying, so, so there is a necessity, I'm saying, mm -hmm. to put some intellectual pressure on the question of why it isn't creating societies of healthier political climates. I would say if I had to pick one thing that is at the heart of Islam that is, that is anti-democratic, it is the concept that's very deep, that is in the very name of the religion of submission. Because a population that is trained essentially to submit is a population that will create authoritarians. And so I think that the, that the recalcitrance, I mean, when you think about Israel, the founders of Israel, none of them came from democracies. Right. They came from Russia. They came, I mean, they came from Eastern Europe. They came from the Levant. They didn't know from democracy. And yet, why did they create a democracy? Because they all argued with each other. <laughs> Seriously, they all did. That's like my friend Joseph Epstein has a great line. He said, Jews don't listen, they wait. <laughs> and I think that, and, and that idea that the disputatious culture of the Talmud and so on, it's good for democracy. And I think the, the culture of submission can be corrosive to it.